The Oregon Ducks have got their quarterback for 2024, so it seems. Dylan Gabriel is headed to UG. So if you appreciated what Bo Nix did for you last year, I think you're going to get a pretty similar style of play from the former Oklahoma quarterback, former UCF quarterback, and Dylan Gabriel again, headed to Autzen. Imagine he's going to run that offense pretty efficiently, pretty effectively. We'll talk about all that here in just a second. First things first, though, Duck fans, make sure to dial in right here. If you've just found this show, The Hard Count, welcome. We're live three times a week right here on the On3 YouTube channel, 11 a.m. Eastern, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Make sure you're dialed in. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at JD Pakel. A great way for us to then involve you into the show. So we appreciate y'all so much for that. So like I was saying, man, Dylan Gabriel, I think this might be the very best fit for him. This could be the fit of all fits when it comes to this transfer portal cycle. Because when I look at Dylan Gabriel, all I see, to be honest with y'all, left-handed Bo Nix. Right? And Bo Nix, what he did this past year for you in that offense and the numbers he put up for you, how efficient he was, I think Dylan Gabriel is capable of matching that. Now, will he? A lot of that is based on how quickly he gets comfortable and how you know quickly he's able to, I guess, acclimate to the offense. But all I'm saying is from a skill set perspective, he fits what you need to a T. Because you think about this Oregon offense and it's you know quick, it's get the ball out to your playmakers, it's process the defense, it's be efficient, it's be accurate. That's what Dylan Gabriel is. That's what he does. Okay, 3,660 yards in 2023 for Oklahoma, 30 touchdowns, only six interceptions. And then he was also a dual threat on the ground, ran for 12 touchdowns. The QBR is 87, it's good for top five in the country. Again, going back to being efficient, 70% completion percentage. Now, Duck fans, I know you kind of yawn at that because your quarterback was like 77, 78%, which is historic, but I'm just saying now, Dylan Gabriel in the offense he played in, and, and given just that number period, I think that's pretty solid. I think that's something to be excited about if you're an Oregon Duck fan. So, overall now, what does it mean for Oregon? I think at, at first glance, this to me ensures that the success you enjoyed last season offensively as you move into the Big Ten, yes, there will be parts of it that get tougher for you just by nature of the competition you're playing because the Big Ten's going to be a gauntlet now. We all understand that. But I think you feel confident knowing you have a quarterback that can keep where you were last year moving forward. Like you can kind of hold that 40 points a game number and feel, I think, fairly optimistic about staying right in that range. Now, will you be 44 points a game good? I think Dylan Gabriel has the skill set to do that. Doing it, though, is a whole other thing. Obviously, again, going back to the nature of the competition you'll play, it'll be difficult. But there's nothing that you need that Dylan Gabriel doesn't possess. Again, quick decision maker. He's got that. That's pretty similar to the offense that he played in as well. Well, can he hit the, the short intermediate game effectively and be consistent there? 70% completion percentage. Is he a dual threat? Can he still run that part of the offense? Because that part of this car now is very important. You got to be able to tuck it whenever that DN crashes and get us some yards. Again, Dylan Gabriel, dual threat quarterback, 12 rushing touchdowns. He runs like a running back when he gets near the end zone. Saw him truck a couple dudes this year. I think he has everything you need moving into Big Ten play to not worry about where will that offense be. Because if you didn't go with Dylan Gabriel, you worry about going somewhere younger on your depth chart. Nothing wrong with that. But you don't have to have that concern when you sleep at night if you're Dan Lanning because of Dylan Gabriel now running the show for you. So what does it say about Dan Lanning now? I think this is worth mentioning. Dan Lanning, it's no secret, he's from that Nick Saban, Kirby Smart kind of tree. And what we know about both those individuals, Saban and Smart, just dogs in the recruiting trail. I mean, how often do we see Georgia and Alabama somewhere in that top three, top two even when it comes to the recruiting rankings every single national signing day? That script A, that G, they pretty much live there. Well, Dan Lanning, I promise you, having been on both their staffs, several meetings, I promise you, he just sat back there with his notebook and took note of talent acquisition and how important that was to those guys. Because yes, it's the X's and the O's, but to be real, y'all, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And this, to me, is just another just flag planted by Dan Lanning saying we are going to push the envelope when it comes to talent acquisition. We are not going to settle. We are not going to wonder about if we got the guys. We are going to know without a shadow of a doubt. When we take the field for war on a Saturday afternoon in the fall, we will feel good about our troops and our guys we're rolling with, okay? Dylan Gabriel now. You got a general of the offense. You got someone who I think has every single thing required from a skill set perspective to be successful. And I think you have, again, the very best fit of any fit across the transfer portal thus far. So Dylan Gabriel is headed to Eugene. 
He was a Marcus Mariota fan, obviously growing up in Hawaii and Mariota being from Hawaii. We'll see what number he ends up rocking, but you would have to imagine if he does wear the eight, kind of give you uh, give you some Mariota vibes potentially. I know he's left hand. I know he's different frame, but I'm just saying, got your guy now in Oregon. Keep it locked right here. Again, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on socials. Those two things, Twitter, Instagram, at Jody Patel, but most importantly, keep it locked right here. Got you covered for all things Portal, all things college football, every single day of the year. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. We're going to keep this party rolling now. We will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.